Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using stored procedure on SQL Server how to create and execute CRUD operations, inserting, updating and deleting. I am connecting to Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I am expanding the databases. Charan DB is a user database. I am expanding the database, the tables. And right now in this Charan DB is a database, they have only one employee table. Let's browse this table. And this table contains around 16 rows. And the columns are ID, E name, location, department, and age. And this ID column is a auto increment column. Now my aim is I want to create a stored procedure to inserting, updating and deleting the record. Let's create a stored procedure. In the Charan DB database, the programmability, expand that, the stored procedures, right click that one, click stored procedure. And this is the default query to create a stored procedure. The first procedure name to display employee records. So EMP display is my stored procedure name. I am deleting the parameters or variables to create. I am deleting the default select statement. So select star from employee table. Let's execute this stored procedure. The command completed successfully. Expand the stored procedure and notice here we just created the employee display stored procedure. Let's execute the stored procedure. Make query. To execute the stored procedure, exec the stored procedure name, which is a dbo dot employee display, emp display, this one. This stored procedure name. Execute. It executes that to display all the records in the employee table. The next stored procedure will create how to insert records. Click the stored procedure. The procedure name is EMP insert at. I am not adding the ID column because the ID column is the auto generate column. So the next column is the E name. E name. The data type is Valcap. 255 at location valka 255 at department valka 255 and the last one is the age which is a integer data type and the select statement insert into dbo dot employee table the, col the column names are e name location the department and the age values at e name at location at department the last one is the age that's it I'm executing this stored procedure command completed successfully let's refresh this stored procedure and, and notice here EMP insert stored procedure is added to the stored procedures folder let's execute this EMP insert stored procedure execute dbo dot emp insert the values are between the single quotes kumar the location is a Hyderabad and the department is IT and the age is 30 years Let's execute this one. 
and the command completed successfully. I am executing and here we got the new record 17 Kumar Harvard IT and 30 years old. Let's create a stored procedure to update the values in a table. Right click the stored procedure, stored procedures. The stored procedure name is EMP EMP update at ID int at ename var cat is two fifty five at location var cat. 255 at department var car 255 and the last one is that which is an integer data type int I'm deleting the default select statement update the table name is the employee table set ename is equals to at ename location is equals to at location department is equals to at department age is equals to at age where ID is equals to at at is equals to at ID. Let's execute this stored procedure. Here the stored procedure successfully created. Let's refresh the folder. An EMP update is added to the stored procedures folder. Let's update the values so instead of EMP I'm using EMP update instead of Kumar I'm adding using John the location is Mumbai instead of the IT sales and his age is 28 and I want to update these values into the 17th employee ID so so here at the starting 17 which is the ID value let's execute now we got a message completed successfully let's browse the table the record is modified or not and notice here the employee record 17 the EMP ID 17 before John it was a Kumar and his location is Hyderabad and we have updated with new values let's create the last stored procedure to delete the record go to stored procedure right click stored procedures delete this EMP delete at ID integer instead of select statement I'm deleting the values delete from employee table where ID is equals to at id let's execute the stored procedure here command completed successfully refresh this folder and emp delete stored procedure added to the stored procedures folder let's execute this stored procedure execute dbo dot emp delete 
I want to delete the employee ID 17 which is a John 17 let's highlight this and execute command completed successfully let's browse the table and notice here the employee ID 17 John is deleted that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos